What's up, fellow meshers? Welcome back to another Vector Wednesday. And first, my shirt ain't pink. It's salmon. Salmon. I can't never say that word right. But uh, today we'll be working on a video on uh, how to create realistic skin textures in Illustrator. Welcome back, showing you how to create realistic skin textures with uh, Illustrator and the gradient mesh. Um, right here, I'm just resizing my artboard with the tool. You can see it on the left side on the toolbar. Made a mistake, fixing it. But I'm gonna do this and this this video in steps. So just to save on time, it took me about two hours to do. So I sped it up in sections, and so just bear with me. Step one, double click on a layer with the picture. I know some of you already know this, but I'm just reiterating it for people that don't. Step two, go to the square tool and create a square. Simple enough. Couldn't find a square tool, but I found it. Create the square close to the shape. You don't have to, but you'll have to use that section you're going to use the shape at. Uh, step three, get the mesh tool and click right in the middle and it will give you those four boxes right there. Just turn it how you need it. And you want to get it in position and be ready to uh, whenever you start because using a regular square won't work as great sometimes. And step four, start shaping around the area without adding new mesh lines. Get your shape first. Get your basic shape. We're doing a complex mesh. It will have lots of lines and you have to do lots of uh, zooming in to see. So shape first then add lines. It'll come in helpful because once you start adding lines it'll be more things to move and correct so get your basic shape first. And step five when the basic shape is done, I start adding new mesh lines. And at this point, you shouldn't have to uh, correct any shape unless it's a middle line or something like that. Nothing on the outside should have to be corrected. Just go in and add your mesh lines and have fun for many hours of doing these certain sections. So step six, go mesh crazy. Uh, what we're doing here is just creating sections of skin textures. And you can use these sections throughout Illustrator. They are vectors. And you can use them as opacity mask or any kind of mask in Illustrator and change the opacity to uh, bring in the skin. You saw how to do that with my how to blend tutorial. That was an opacity mask. So if you want to do that and uh, just have skin textures on top of your vectors, here's a way to do it. Uh, you can also, if you want to add pores, just add little small black dots with the skin texture and change the opacity on it and more skin texture with pores. And this was a lengthy process. I mean, creating this uh, difficult mesh to bring in the details, uh, it took about an hour 40 minutes for this section because there's so many freaking dots. But price you have to pay for good looking work I guess for detailed work and this is just one little section of the face so just imagine how long it takes but you don't have to do the whole face in this technique it's just the part you want to draw out details and a good thing to have is um, have a large quality, large size image something 300 dots per inch not 72 dots per inch with internet base and if you do have a 72 dots per inch picture take it in Photoshop and go to image size and fix all that change the size to from 72 to 300 and hopefully you have a nice quality image and it won't have any distortion in it or but right here is just a halfway point I got to and my mesh is 
on the left side of that white white area. I mean, it blends in pretty nice. And then this is a high quality photo, so it blends in pretty good. And here's the mesh piece that I've done so far. So it's coming out nice, and I was pretty happy with it. So from this point, back to going mesh crazy again. Finish it up. And this technique works great. So just play around with it and figure out ways that you can make it how you want it and have fun. But my mesh piece is right here in front of you. You couldn't see it, so I mean, I blended it and pretty good. Got the skin blemishes in it. And it just has like the light spots with the light hitting it. I mean, it just came in pretty good. These complex mesh pieces will give you this detail. And you'll probably want to do it on the left cheek, probably on the forehead and the nose and everything else can be probably a basic mesh the way that we normally do. But I'm about to end this video. And again, if you have any uh, comments, leave them in the comment section below or inbox me on YouTube. And I have my DeviantArt page linked below if you want to check me out on there. And like always, until next time, peace.